Unexpected friendliness or curiosities shown by wild animals towards people or other creatures have undoubtedly been reported. These instances may be both touching and unexpected. I am here to offer experiences and thoughts on 15 animals trying to be friendly. If you're interested in seeing these incredible encounters firsthand, join me as we begin this exciting countdown. Anything like this, this is insane. He's sniffing out your machine. Number 15, Lion. This dog doesn't seem to mind living around lions at all. The dog and the lions were reared together, and they frequently interact via play. The dog is safe if the lions are well fed. Is it feasible for a lion and a dog to be friends? Look at these two and let us know your thoughts. Since they were little children, these two have enjoyed an incredible bond. A strong white lion accompanied by a chocolate Labrador puppy. Look closely to see if the lion is licking the dog's paw. You have to admit, it's adorable. In the video below, a crippled lion raised by a zookeeper who has had both legs amputated develops an unexpected bond with a little sausage dog, and the two become inseparable. Despite the fact that Bone Digger, a 500-pound male lion, is dwarfed by Milo, an eight-year-old dat shunned, Milo never leaves his side. For the past five years, they haven't been able to be apart. Bone Digger, a zookeeper who lost both of his legs in a bungee jumping accident and was born with a metabolic bone condition that made him mostly immobile, has formed an exceptional friendship with John Rienke. Milo, along with two other five-year-old wiener dogs named Bullet and Angel, went above and above to care for the hampered lion. Watch how unafraidly this Datshun licks the lion's face. I'm hoping the lion used some mouth freshener and wash its teeth for the sake of the Datshun. Number 14, Crocodile. Watch as this crocodile responds to its handler's call by sprinting like a dog. Only a mother could fall in love with this beast's face. It took this crocodile little under two months to develop friendly behavior. Even if an animal is kind, I have to be honest and state that I could never trust it or feel secure being close to it. For once, the crocodile and hippo seem to get along. The hippo hangs out with the crocodile and sort of follows it around. They seem to be pals. We won't ever know the answer because the elephants choose to drive the hippos away. These sizable crocodiles are said to be amiable towards humans. These men are discussing how they feed the crocodiles. The crocodile eats everything the man throws at it in a matter of seconds. The creature stayed stationary as people took pictures of it. Number 13 Gorilla The silverback gorilla listens to the man while he speaks to it. He simply looks the man in the eyes, acting as though he understands what the man is saying. It's fascinating to observe. To let the youngster know he is there, the gorilla finally knocks on the window. The gorilla joins in when the boy answers. Laugh out loud at this gorilla. He strikes the glass with confidence as though he is aware that he is the adult playing with the youngster. These creatures are quite clever. Coco was a highly clever gorilla that was able to interact with people by learning sign language. Coco was one incredible gorilla. She may be seen speaking and recognizing herself in the mirror in the video. Even Robin Williams enjoyed spending time with the well-known gorilla. This juvenile gorilla was adopted by a French couple who now have him as a permanent resident. They have recreated the link that gorillas in the wild have, and gorillas value strong family bonds. Number 12, Zebra. Who would have imagined that a goat and a zebra could be friends? But that is exactly what is happening in this video, to the point that the goat even hops on the zebra's back and enjoys a free ride around the enclosure. This zebra and donkey share an enclosure and live together in the zoo. The donkey appears to like the zebra and is making an effort to show it some tenderness, love, and care. While out on a stroll in this natural reserve, these people came across a few zebras. The striped animal didn't run away when they got close. Instead, it stayed still. The zebra scented the woman's palm as she extended out to pat it. In comparison to other wild creatures, they were rather amiable. This giraffe and zebra are interacting amicably. Seeing these two creatures get along is wonderful. They nearly seem to be conversing with one another. Number 11, Tiger. These kids of the lion and tiger are adorable. They are having a great time playing together and are almost the same size. It will be interesting to watch how these two get along as they get older. 
These two animals get along well and enjoy galloping around the garden. They have the best of pals, it seems. Man, it's incredible to see them battle it out. They are not at all hostile to one another. They are hanging around like two friends. This beautiful tiger cub enjoys hanging out with his bunny rabbit companions. Let's only hope they form a lasting friendship for the welfare of the fluffy critters since it won't be long before the tiger can devour the bunny bunnies for breakfast. Bengal tigers are kept in this Florida woman's backyard. The large cats must have been reared from an early age for them to feel at ease around them, but because of their size, these ladies won't have a chance against them if they ever decide to attack. Although it appears to be comfortable and restful for her to sleep with the cats, one day she could not wake up. Number 10 Bald Eagle Take a look at these amiable eagles as they approach the feeder like pigeons. I think it takes courage to feed so many eagles, but as long as they are nourished, I suppose there is no actual threat. These two eagles appear to get along with the cats and stand there like nice boys, even though they would typically kill and swallow a cat in a matter of seconds. The cats, who frequently hang out next to the eagles, are okay. The cats occasionally give the eagles a sideways glance as if they were hoping to grab one, but they are aware that this is impossible. Playing fetch is enjoyable for Holly, a wounded bald eagle with a chronic beak deficiency. That prohibits her from living in the wild. It took the eagle and its handler over two years to develop this degree of comfort and trust. In this video, a quick shot of Freedom and its handler is presented. Freedom is a female eagle who was nearly killed due to two damaged wings, but survived to become a part of an incredible tale. The handler briefly discusses what transpired. The eagle, which is perched on its handler's arm, appears wonderful and self-assured. This bald eagle doesn't seem to love flying or hunting living creatures. I must have missed something, or is this man an eagle? She doesn't have a raptor's disposition, according to her handler. I suppose she is this way because she was nurtured by humans and was weak from birth. Number 9 Arctic Wolf The wolf circles him, but he must remain calm since the wolf might get alarmed at the first sign of fear. A second wolf can be seen in the background watching the incident with apparent curiosity. The wolf slowly moves away as it smells the man, as if something is amiss. The photographer eventually reveals that he hasn't taken a shower in weeks, which may be the reason the wolf is being cautious. This arctic wolf is a riot to be around and appears to enjoy his handler. He never stops asking for kisses and cuddles and reciprocates the gesture. These polar wolves appear to reside here or at least have a strong familiarity with the area. They simply stand there waiting to go for a walk when a man comes heading in their direction. Despite being wild wolves, they are really amiable. In the living room, this arctic wolf plays with this wolf dog. The arctic wolf that these guys own is a riot, that much is true. Number 8 Leopard This man's house has two leopards living there. One of his adult female leopards recently gave birth to two pups in the Iron Throne Predator and Wildlife Park in South Africa, which he owns. The cubs are now kept in the man's home, where they are given milk bottles by hand and spend each night close to him. Despite the increased risk he takes while interacting with the mother, he is confident that this is the best way to raise cubs in captivity despite the criticism he may receive for separating the mother and her cubs at such an early age. Cubs are quite lovely. They are having so much fun being mischievous in the garden as this leopard cub plays with his canine pal. In comparison to the dog, the leopard is already pretty large. What a gorgeous kitty. Despite their differences, these two large cats get along. In the wild, tigers and leopards do not get along, yet this doesn't appear to be an issue for these two. They coexist in the same place, so you can observe how well they get along. This baby leopard pursues objects in a manner similar to a house cat. The main difference is that his claws are significantly larger, thus one must exercise caution when attempting to get the cat's toy. This leopard is accustomed to interacting with people. Number 7 Giraffe Ever been close to a giraffe? Due of his proximity to the giraffe's head, this man decides to give it ramen lettuce, one of the animal's preferred foods. Giraffes have long tongues that protrude from their lips as lizards do. Additionally, the giraffe would like to lick the man's face or eat his hat. He must have had a blast, in my opinion. 
when the little giraffe goes to her mother to beg permission to play with the ostrich for a little while longer. The mother gives her the go-ahead. The ostrich follows the fleeing giraffe. The giraffe occasionally hides behind Mama. I suppose the giraffe thinks the ostrich sometimes plays too rough. It is commonly known that giraffes like eating lettuce. Anyone visiting the Franklin drive through safari in East Texas with a grin and a head of lettuce is on the VIP list in the giraffe's eyes. Number 6 Wolf Keep an eye on this woman as she interacts with this bunch of wolves. They rush to show her their love and affection. She must be the alpha female. Lakomi is an upper middle class wolf dog who lives in a sanctuary. At the age of eight months, she was found in the wild, but it was soon determined that she had been born and nurtured in captivity in part. She was using a harness intended for an eight week old when her saving. The harness had grown into her skin and to remove it needed hours of surgery and months of treatment for a condition that had almost killed her. Before allowing physical contact, she needed roughly two months of daily exposure, but as soon as she did, she quickly changed into a jovial, affectionate, and playful sanctuary favorite. Lakomi is a magnificent illustration of the healing power of love. A wildlife worker and this enormous timber wolf interact and play as though they were a dog. The wolf never stops licking the employee's face, demonstrating their mutual devotion. Although it is commonly known that wolves have attacked both people and children, these particular wolves are really nice towards this man. Like two dogs, they interact and play together. Number five dogs. This young lamb has made a new buddy and it's a good natured dog. They like relaxing together and watching rom-coms. The golden retriever, Benny, exhibits a unique dog attitude in that she cares for and cherishes the cat, Tutu. As she follows Tutu everywhere she goes, Benny won't ever take her eyes off of her. This puppy approaches the cow, believing that she is his mother, and asks for guidance. The cow doesn't care and allows the dog to remain. Even if the puppy dines with the large creatures, I'm not convinced that's the best meal for this small one. They take their time to kiss the puppy since the cows are so kind. The dog doesn't seem to mind that the capybara is in love with him. It takes pleasure in all the love the large rodent is showing it. Number four, elephant. Two of the baby elephant's favorite dogs join him as they play. The elephant attempts to chase them as they flee about. The dogs are undoubtedly faster, but the elephant enjoys running and is fairly quick for his size. This is the remarkable bond a baby elephant develops with his carer. Throughout the park, they are always on the watch for one another. Every morning, the elephant rushes to meet him when she sees him. You can see the elephants approaching the handler to greet him since he has assimilated into the family. Seeing him makes them so joyful. Amazing sounds are produced by them. They sound almost like they are purring. The nicest and cutest elephant calf around right now is this one. He's literally all over this man and simply wants to snuggle. Thank goodness he isn't completely developed yet, because else this man would resemble a pancake. I'm nearly tempted to get one after seeing this. Number 3 Bear Male predators like lions, tigers, and bears are typically competitors. On the other side, the uncommon three of Leo the lion, Balu the bear, and Shere Khan the tiger experienced a traumatic confrontation and formed a lifelong connection as a consequence. In 2001, after investigating the home of a drug dealer in Atlanta, Georgia, authorities came upon the trio. When the officers descended to the basement, they came across three frightened, ravenous cubs who were also parasite-ridden. American black bear Balu was sporting a harness that had grown too big for him and was now buried inside his body. A Bengal tiger named Shere Khan was dangerously underweight. Leo, an African lion, had a facial wound that was open and infected as a result of being confined within a tiny container. The three distressed animals were taken to an animal sanctuary, where they settled into a brand new 250-acre home. They began to play, groom, and snuggle with one another as they felt more at peace. Their handler was not surprised by their actions, rather, their continued friendship surprised him. She continued by stating that although animals can develop friendships with people of other species, these ties often weaken as they age. The shelter chose to keep the BLT group together since they never left each other's sides. For 15 years, Leo, Balu, and Shere Khan lived in the same house, 
and shared meals, beds, and other activities. Liu Khan passed away in 2018, while Shere Khan died in 2016. Baolu was at their sides when they passed away and attended each of their funerals. While everyone at the sanctuary was devastated, they were aware that they had done all within their power to assure their happiness. Additionally, they are offering Baolu the assistance he requires and reassuring him that he is not alone. Look at the bear wielding man lying on the ground. The bear holds the man with his paws and even cuddles up to him, kissing his hand. These claws are really large. The bear and this enormous dog get along great. When they hang around and interact, they give the impression of being brothers. Although the bear is smaller than the dog, their sizes are almost equal. I'd assume this bear is a dog dressed as a bear if I didn't know any better. Many parents find it difficult to discipline their kids at home. Jim and Susan are in the area, and their main target is a large Kodiak brown bear weighing in at 140 pounds. The two have spent their entire lives rescuing and releasing wounded animals, and now they are caring for a 9 feet tall beast at their orphanage. They now have 11 bears on their 100 acre property, including black bears, Syrian bears, and Kodiak brown bears. Number 2 Fox Foxes seem to be bright and teachable. To understand what I'm talking about, look at this fox. He's acting just as a dog would. Spend some time with this white cat and this fox. They both seem to be young, therefore I assume they are developing together as a result of this, which will strengthen their friendship. To my surprise, I learned that the fox had meant to devour the cat, but instead decided to befriend it. It was actually a much better choice. This fox like visiting this garden to get some food. The fox, according to this man, comes around frequently despite the fact that it is still quite scared. It seems like a Disney fairy tale when a fox and a dog meet in the woods and become friends. Last summer, while out on a stroll, German Shepherd Tinny and Norwegian photographer Torger Berg stumbled across an abandoned baby fox. He was a puppy, perhaps his mother had died, and he needed food, care, and company. Since then, the fox, whom Burge dubbed Sniffer, has frequently joined them on their expeditions into the woods, hanging out with Tinny, for, for a few hours each day. Few people ever get the opportunity to see and understand a relationship like this, but Torger Burge was fortunate to observe it personally and capture it in pictures that speak for themselves. Number 1 Elk At the YMC in Colorado, this elk chooses to graze in the backyard. Seeing such a scene first thing in the morning must be enjoyable. Who thinks elks are hostile creatures? This large man made the decision to approach the folks who were watching the elks and participate in the fun. There was food involved, of course, but who cares? This elk is awesome. Although it's popular to refer to dogs as man's best friend, in sweet Idaho, the phrase really refers to an elk. He was referred to as Elliot the Elk and spent over two years residing in Sweet before being moved by Idaho Fish and game to bear meadows in the Sawtooth National Forest. What a beautiful elk you have there in the snow. The elk is apprehensive of what type of creature he has just encountered as he moves cautiously approach the snowmobile as the rider wears his helmet. Elk approaches and abruptly stops in front of the snowmobile. He turns around and goes away when the guy commands him to do so. This elk decides to accept some food from this generous woman. This elk has beautiful antlers. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had creating it. If you found value in what you've seen, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of our amazing community and you'll never miss out on the latest content. I love reading your comments, so please share your thoughts, questions, and suggestions below. Remember, this channel is all about you, and your feedback guides the direction we take. Until our next video, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep being awesome. You think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.